3%. So there's your problem. They just won't take Medicaid patients? Yeah, and the reason why is because the Medicaid program was uh, passed in 1965, and so the design of the insurance product was fixed in stone for 50 years, and you can't change it without an act of Congress. So the only thing state governments can do to deal with the cost overruns and the waste and fraud and abuse of the program, they can't change the insurance product, increase the co-pays, the premiums. Pay doctors like less. All they can do is pay doctors less. And so what's happened over time is doctors are getting paid less and less by the program, and a lot of doctors just say, you know what, I give up, I won't take this insurance. But there's another part that a lot of people don't realize with Medicaid is that it takes up an exorbitant amount of state budgets. The most costly aspect of most state budgets is the Medicare aspect, uh, Medicaid aspect of it, or CHIP, the, yeah. the child uh, health insurance product. But it, it grows faster than the state tax revenues. We're worried about, I think the last I saw was over five years, a $23 billion gap in between deficit with Medicaid and state tax revenues. And this Obamacare is supposed to increase the roles. And wh who's going to pay for this? We are. Well, so what's going to happen is that people, you're going to pay for it in two ways. One, well, the Medicaid uh, patients are going to pay for it the most because what are states going to do if the program continues to grow? They're going to cut those payments to doctors and hospitals even more than they are already. In the last couple of years, that's the major thing that they've done. 48 of 50 states have reduced further doctor and hospital payments. And because then, it's an entitlement program, so the states cannot do anything with the program itself. This is the only area they have to make, it, to make a change. And the one thing that doctors and hospitals do to try to compensate for that is charge people with private insurance more to make up for the fact that the government insurers pay them less. It's called cost shifting. And so if you have private insurance, if you're in a state that expands Medicaid, not only are you going to pay more through taxes, but your health care premiums are going to go up too. So I'm, I'm curious about the counter argument here. I mean, the map that Will put up showed that Minnesota is expanding its Medicare coverage, but Wisconsin is not. States right next to each other. So what is it that is going through the minds of the Minnesota government that says we want to expand this versus Wisconsin? What, what is it that they're looking at that says we, this is actually a good deal? Well, Wisconsin is a special case because their uh, Medicaid program was so large to begin with that Governor Scott Walker could actually uh, uh, reduce the Medicaid roles and improve the state budget at the same time while refusing the Medicaid program. But for a lot of states, particularly the big blue states, the, the, the expansion of Medicaid is a federal bailout. For example, in New York State, the Medicaid program is so large that what Obamacare does is it takes a lot of the existing Medicaid program that the state pays for, puts it on the federal taxpayer. So that's a, a net good deal, quote unquote, for, for New York. Same so, thing for New Jersey.